Well, good morning, everybody. It is a cold, for me, cold Sunday morning. In fact, when I looked at my phone this morning, it's 40 degrees. And this is new time, daylight savings time today. Make sure you've got your clocks set correctly. In case you're wondering, this 2007 Mercury is Ricky's mother's car and it still runs extremely well. Uh, it's been garage kept for 15 years up until about the last six months which we've been keeping it here we do keep it in the garage if the weather gets really bad but um, we're probably going to go ahead and sell it we're just using it as a second car right now but we really don't need it anyway welcome to cruise man's garage if this is your first time joining me for a motor vlog welcome i would uh, invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click that subscribe button and the little notification bell much appreciated and things are a little different this morning i'm actually uh, going to record the ride to breakfast since i got up uh, later because of the time change and it's light out i thought i'd change it up a little bit and just uh, do my ride on the way to i'm going to einstein's over in coppell this morning and I have to always decide which way I'm going to go. If I go a back way, I don't have to get on the freeway. And if I take the freeway, it's a little quicker, but it's also a little more, uh, I don't know, just kind of, a lot of guys drive really fast on their way to the airport. but. That's uh, that Carrollton, I call it the Carrollton International Speedway, which is uh, Highway 121. But I think I'll probably take the highway today, even though it, it's much colder going that way, because you, you know, you're going 70 miles an hour. Right now my uh, temperature gauge is dropping rapidly from over 50 degrees, now it's already down to 46. And that kind of plays into what I want to talk about today, because even though it was 40 degrees when I got up, you know, on a, it's just such a pretty day. It's clear skies, almost, you know, very little wind today. So I thought, you know, it'd be a good day to talk to you about a couple of new products from Bon Armor. And one of them is this jacket that I'm wearing. Now, you've seen me wear this jacket a few times. And this is one of their newest products. And it is, I'm very, very impressed with it. As many of you know, I, I've been using uh, or been riding with Olympia jackets for years, these mesh jackets. And they're kind of an all season jacket. And I really like them. Uh, I like the, the uh, high vis yellow. I think that's really important and they are good summer jackets because they have a lot of mesh and they let a lot of air flow through. This on the other hand I would call, uh, I think they even call it like a three season jacket like, like fall, winter and spring. If it gets over 75 degrees probably this jacket would start getting warm it is it's so it's not a mesh jacket it is a solid more a more solid jacket in that regard and you know I, I, I love everything I've have from Bon Armor they have great armored gear the armored shirts uh, the, the thermal undershirt which I had been wearing all winter until I got this jacket and they have and they've been sponsors of the channel in the past 
This video, however, is not sponsored. This is just one of my motor vlogs. So this is not a sponsored video that, you know, they're not paying me to talk about this, but they did send me this jacket to try out. And I appreciate that. Thank you, Mon Armor. They're good people. They're just really, really good people. I think they're in North Carolina. And a lot of you are using their armored gear. But I'm telling you, this jacket has some unique features that really set it apart from anything else I've ever worn as far as a motorcycle jacket. And I'm going to tell you what I like and a couple of things I wish were different about the jacket, but mostly, most of it's stuff I like. The first thing and the most notable thing I like is that it is super comfortable. It's the most comfortable motorcycle jacket I think I've ever worn. It has kind of a stretchy material that is just, I don't know how to, I don't even know what they call this material. It is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant and wind resistant. Now it's not a solid jacket in that it's going to completely block the wind. In fact, currently I have a windbreaker underneath the jacket because it is so cold. Now if it was over I'd say 50 or 55 degrees I wouldn't need that. The jacket would be fine on its own. But since we've got 40, right now it's 44 degrees, I went ahead and wore my uh, little windbreaker right underneath the jacket. And it is super comfortable. Another thing I love about this jacket is they make it in a tall version. So I'm wearing the large tall and I was very close to needing the extra large tall. Now I am six foot one and a half there about, six foot two, somewhere in that range. I weigh right now, I've gained some weight and I'm probably about 190 pounds. And, but I can still wear it, uh, the large. And it, it's snug, but it, it's comfortable. And like I say, it has this kind of stretchy material that I really like, and it's just uh, it's great. I also like that they they use this elastic band around the waist and around the, around the wrists to keep the wind out. I much prefer that over the Velcro clasp. Uh, and also up around the neck, they use a snap to close the jacket around your neck rather than Velcro. And of course it's got a full length zipper all the way up. I do wish it had some reflective piping uh, to give it a little more reflectivity. Or how about, how about a, a nice reflective big Cruise Man's Garage logo on the back of the jacket? Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, that's going a little far maybe. Other than that, I think they've got a real winner with this jacket. And I think it's something you should check out at bonarmor.com. Now let me tell you about the unique features. Number one, it holds all of the Bon armor. All of their 2.0 armor. Back plate elbows shoulders very cool the other thing is it is Kevlar lined and that I like because that gives you abrasion resistance should you go down the other gear sometimes you find will have Cordura like my Olympia jacket doesn't have Kevlar it just has Cordura and Cordura is not going to be nearly as durable or as abrasion resistant as Kevlar. All the armor is in here. It's hard to even tell it's a motorcycle jacket the way they designed it. I mean, it looks just like a nice jacket. In fact, my friend, I, wa I wore it over to his house the other day, and right out of the bat, he does not ride a motorcycle. He said, man, I want that jacket. I like that jacket because it didn't look like a motorcycle jacket. So hey, he may be getting one without any armor just to wear as a jacket around town. And that's nice. You've got a jacket that you can wear in any place and uh, not stand out, you know, not anybody know that it's a motorcycle jacket. 
But here's what's cool are the pockets. You got two pockets for your hands on the outside. You've got a little inside pocket for like a cell phone or whatever you want to put in there, pens, whatever. But you've got these two huge deep pockets inside with snaps and they're designed with built-in what on the left side you've got a built-in holster for your for your uh, handgun if you carry if you carry you're gonna want this jacket because it's made for somebody who carries it's got like a built-in holster on this side it's got a couple of built-in elastic pieces on the right side inside the jacket uh, to like keep extra clips, extra ammo, or you could actually use it to, for your handgun if you're left-handed. You could also put your handgun on the right side. There's also another zipper pocket uh, just on top of that large pocket. I keep my Monimoto key fob in there, but it's a pretty good sized pocket as well. So it's very cool. Now, if you don't carry, you've got these two gigantic pockets. So it's even, I mean, you just, you use them for whatever you want. You could put anything you want in there. It's very, very cool. I'm now at Einstein's. I'm just going to back into my parking place. So, I'd like to know in the comments down below, what do you think of this jacket? Now, in addition to this jacket, which I love, is they just came out with this new flannel shirt that is also armored and Kevlar lined. So now they've got this shirt and it's a really pretty flannel shirt. They've got a couple of different styles or colors and you can also it also carries the Bon armor. It's so cool. They've got something for everybody now and the flannel shirt has some nice size pockets on the inside and uh, and a couple of chest pockets. It's just really, really, everything looks really well made. And I'm, I don't know of anybody else that has a flannel shirt that's armored. It's just really, really well done, well conceived. I have the gray. So go to bondarmor.com. Now I'm going to put a discount code on the screen, but you can save a little money if you use this discount code from Cruise Man's Garage. They're going to give you a little discount if you order their new jacket or any of the gear. And now's you know summertime is not too far away, so you might want one of their armored shirts, uh, their mesh shirts. So just check everything out at bondarmor.com. That's that's my uh, moto vlog for today. I'm going to go get a bagel and some coffee. And um, thank you, Bon Armor, for sending me this jacket. I will be wearing it through the rest of the season until it starts getting a little warmer. When it gets up in the 80s, I'll probably start wearing the mesh jacket again. Oh, also, real quick note, don't forget we have our spring promotion going right now on my Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, this is probably the last time I'm going to be able to sell the videos at this discounted price just because inflation and everything is so insane. Um, you know, if you're going to be getting the maintenance videos, now is the time to do it. Now's the time to get your bike ready to ride. So if you need some help, you know, with some of these different maintenance tasks, I'm getting ready to, this week when it warms up a little bit, I'm going to be putting a, you know, fresh oil change, changing out my DCT filter, changing out my regular oil filter, changing my final drive fluid, uh, crankcase breather, and all of that kind of stuff is covered in my maintenance videos as well as air filters, brakes, brake fluids, all that stuff's covered. So get your videos, orders, uh, you Use that spring promotion you get 20% off thanks for joining me today if you like this video please click that little like button that really really helps me out with YouTube and uh, I'll see you on the next cruise man's motor vlog <music>